it's a uh, it's so important for the human condition and it's such a an unbelievably available resource here mm-hmm. in America mm-hmm. and yet people would rather go on TikTok that's right it's it, it, it's such a hard thing to encourage too because it requires discipline and if you're not raised with discipline if it's not a it's not incorporated into you very early it's it takes a monumental shift in the way you think about life to incorporate that how do you do that with your with your children well fortunately my kids have been around me when i've been you know during the time that they're alive i've been at my most disciplined and most best mm-hmm. you know thank god they weren't around me when i was 21 right you know and they, they they're seeing the example of someone who works hard and works all the time and has a lot of discipline and also wants to talk to them about things and i want to talk to them about the value of difficult things and about failure and about uh like sports they're involved in sports which i think are very important to kids you, sh- you certainly can develop assholes through sports but i think there's something about winning and losing and effort and reward for that effort that's a vital part of being a human being and through that through sports and through any difficult thing you develop your human potential I think you only find it through struggle. You only find it through a difficult thing to acquire or a difficult thing to accomplish and then doing that and recognizing that your boundaries are actually movable and that the boundaries that hold you back now are not permanent. That's right. They're just they speak to your state at the moment, but that state you can advance that state and you can you can do things to make your perspective more nuanced and enhance it and and I you know hopefully they can learn from that but there's also the problem that they're growing up in a loving household they're growing up you know the examples they have is people that are very kind and nice and I think you do need to be exposed to a certain amount of assholes to understand the full scope of human beings no question And, And, and and I feel I feel so much of you know, you know, my job is, as as a father is, is is creating this kind of adversity in my kid's life. I have to, and and I I, I need my, my 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 children to learn the lessons that I've learned. I I just really can't have them learn it the way that I learned right. it. <laughs> you right. know, because that uh, it could have no, it could have gone go either way. way. Yeah. And, 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 and most and, of the time, it doesn't go the way you went. Th- that's right. Yeah, it's like if you get a hundred kids and you thrust them into horrible environments. Very few of them come out to be this this person who has forged themselves through the fire of adversity. Most people succumb, unfortunately. I, I think that's right, and I and I, and I think most people also don't have. I mean, look, I, I I mean, through all the trouble and all the shit that I got into, I had a loving, supporting family who had my back, and I think that's when I t- when I think about the inequality in this country. I mean, one one of the main themes and what I'm trying to do with this podcast is just. I've seen firsthand how the legal system, how, how how so many of the systems that are in place, you know, people who don't have that infrastructure, it is so grossly fucking unfair. And, and they how, don't have an example to go off of. One of right. the things about human beings is we imitate our atmosphere. That's right. And we become accustomed to seeing people work hard, achieve things, and people that are kind and ethical and honest. And we, we look at that as like, that's a value that I want to aspire to achieve. And if you don't have that around you and all you have around you is crime and drug ridden streets and gang violence and you don't know any other way to think or behave, you don't you don't have an example of it. And there's very little effort done to change those neighborhoods. I mean, if you look at the amount of effort and the amount of resources that we pump into other countries, we pump into the military, we pump into all these various things, we always seem to have money for it. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you're a child and you're being raised in this community that it's essentially been the same way for decades and decades with no help. That's right. That's it's right. very, you feel like an outsider and you feel not, you feel like the system is rigged. Absolutely. In many ways it is. It is. I, 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 I couldn't agree with that. Yeah. More. I couldn't agree with that more. And I think, you, you, you know, in terms of, in terms of our children, it's, it's, you know, how do you, how do you get to them to, to see that, understand that, experience it, experience it a little bit, uh, but 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 also you know understand those inequities and 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 try to inspire them to 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 do something about it and 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 I and I I, th- I think for me it's it's just again you know we people talk about 
you know, like masculinity and, 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 you know, this, this, this term that gets thrown around all the time, like this toxic masculinity and whatever the fuck that means. And, uh, you, you know, I just think that, again, it's like, what are the examples that we're putting forward? And what, what, what are the examples of, of, of people, you know, as, as fathers, what, what, what kind of men are you surrounding yourself by? What, what are the things that are important to you? And I, and I think it's, it's not, uh, to me at least, it's, it's not, you know, some sort of rejection of these classically masculine traits. I, I, I think that, you know, having the ability and, and understanding you have the responsibility to keep your family safe is, is, is absolutely essential in, in, in being a man and yeah. in, in, in providing. Uh, I, I think having a, a healthy relationship with violence, having an understanding of it. I think, um, you know, teaching your kids to, to, to have a relationship with violence where, 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 you know, they're not being ruled by fear or shame, but they can have some sort of understanding, some sort of, um, some sort of, uh, you know, they, they can touch it. They understand it a little bit. They know what they're doing. I think it's essential. Um, and I also think, you know, being accepting, being kind, being open, uh, you know, being generous, being empathetic are also, uh, 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 you know, part of being a man. And, and I think that, you know, oftentimes because so many of the people I think who, who um, you know, are kind of leading the charge on, on, on I, 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 and, and who have, you know, so much, sort of have so much of the platform at their disposal are kind of leading in these sort of toxic ways where it's all a bunch of bombast and bullshit. And to me, you know, like it's been my experience, you, you, you know, folks who really know what they're doing in, in, in that world um, re- really don't need to, you know, show off about it at all. You know, right, the people that are high achievers, they don't really have to beat their own chest and I think that's right. blow their own horn. I think that's yeah. right. Yeah, what we think of as toxic masculinity is really a bunch of losers. So I, a lot of it is like the worst example. But you, you could get the same, you know, there's no term toxic femininity, right? But there's there's toxic human beings, and some of them happen to be male, mm-hmm. and some of them happen to be female. But it's not an indictment on male, <laughs> right. you know, the male gender of the species. That's right. cr- crazy. Right. And the idea that you don't need men, that somehow or another, like, the female is the future. It's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. It's crazy. You yeah. need a balance. There's that's a yin right. and a yang in this life for a reason. That's right. All of it goes together. That's right. It's just everybody has to do better. That's right. Yeah. And and I think that's something that I've really, you know, go you know on this the, the, this thing that I'm trying to do. I'm I'm really just trying to 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 put up examples of that. Men and women who 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 again really really walk that walk and 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 are not leading with sort of just you know, and, and, and trying to give whatever platform I have to those kinds of people who are real examples of that.